It's a great pleasure and honor for me to give a speech in the heart of Africa. I have been several times before to South Africa, but never have I given any public lecture in the heart of Africa. And Alhamdulillah, my dream has come true. Today, I'm giving a public lecture in Nigeria. The Imam, after Surah Fatiha, he may recite Surah Isra, chapter number 17. Verse number 23 and 24 which says that we have ordained for you that you worship none but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Quran says in Surah Isra, chapter number 17, verse number 78, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has enjoined for us to establish regular prayers from the decline of the sun till the darkness of night and in the morning. Fajr, Zohar, Asar, Maghrib and Isha, minimum five times. If you want to offer more, you can offer more. Quran says in Surah Maida, chapter number five, verse number six. Ya yulazina amunu, who you believe, when you prepare yourself for salah, then wash your face, wash your hands up to the elbow, rub the head with water, and wash your feet up to the ankle. Ablution is compulsory because we are hygienic. The difference between kuf and iman is the negligence, negligence of salah. Of salah. Islam is derived from the Arabic word Salam, which means peace. Media today is the most important weapon in the world. The majority of the international media we find that they are bombarding misinformation about Islam. And unfortunately, we Muslims, we are very backward as far as media is concerned. It is presenting Islam in a totally negative manner. Today, the biggest enemy of Islam is the media. The media picks up verses of the Quran and quotes out of context to distort, distort the image of the Islam. Image of Islam. Islam. Allah mentions and the Quran says in Surah Tawbah chapter 9 verse number 5 that wherever you find the kafir that is the enemy, kill them. Wait for them in every stratagem of war. So this verse of the Quran is revealed in the battlefield and they quote it out of context as though normally Whenever a Muslim sees a non-Muslim, you should kill him. It's out of context. The media, it says things about Islam which doesn't exist in Islam. What is the meaning of Muslim? Muslim is the person who submits his will to God. As Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said in the Gospel of John, chapter 5, verse number 30, that not my not will, my but the will of my father. father. Not my not will, but the will of Almighty God. God. So Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said he was a Muslim. You don't have to follow your will, you have to follow the will of God. So in this way, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is a Muslim. And we, and Muslims, we Muslims are more, are Christian, more Christian than the Christian, 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 Christian themselves. themselves. Sister, do you believe there is one God? Yes, I do. Do you believe Jesus is God? No, no. Do you believe Jesus is the messenger of God? Yes, I do. Do you believe Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God? Yes, I do. Is anyone forcing you to accept Islam? No, 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 no. Are you doing out of your own free will? Yes, I'm doing it willingly from my heart. Okay, sister. I will say in Arabic and you repeat it. Okay, okay. Ashadu. Ashadu. Allah. Allah. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illallah. Illallah. Wa ashadu. Wa ashadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammad Abduhu Abduhu Wa Rasuluhu Musuluhu I bear witness I bear witness That That There is no God There is no God But Allah But Allah And And Prophet Muhammad Prophet Muhammad Is Is The messenger The messenger And servant And servant Of Allah Of Allah MashaAllah sister you have become a Muslim my name is Rose. My name is Joy. My name is Eunice. Sister, do you believe that there is one God? Yes. Do you believe Jesus is God? No. Peace be upon him. Do you believe Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is the messenger of God? Do you believe Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is the messenger of God? Yes, sir. Do you believe Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God, peace be upon him? Yes. Is anyone forcing you to accept Islam? No. Is anyone putting any pressure on you? No. You are accepting Islam out of your free will? Yes. Okay, sister, I'll just say in Arabic and you repeat it. Okay. Ashadu. Ashadu. Allah. Allah. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illallah. Illallah. 
واشهد ان محمدا محمدا عبده ورسوله I bear witness. I bear witness that that there is no God. There is no God. But Allah. But Allah. And, and Prophet Muhammad. Prophet Muhammad is is the messenger. The messenger and servant of God. And a servant of Allah. Mashallah, sister, you have become a Muslim, and I pray to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala that may He grant you Jannah. You have just, you have entered, just entered the family, the family of. of More than 1.6 billion Muslims in the world. But as I come to get closer, after hearing Dr. Shakri speaks on Peace TV, because I watch its program every day, I came to realize Islam was the true faith. When I was in Islam, everything I was being taught, I don't understand. But when I entered Christianity, I began to understand. And immediately I was baptized in Christianity. I had a feeling that I can be in Christianity. But when I started hearing about Dr. Jacques speaks on Peace TV, I get to realize Islam is a faith. But how can I really build my faith in Islam? Do you believe Jesus is God? No. Do you believe in messenger of God? Yes. Do you believe Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God? Salallahu yes I believe. Do you believe there is one God one Allah? Yes. So sister first thing I don't know whether they have done that or not you should take the shahada back. La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. MashaAllah. Mablu. My name is Sobina. I'm a student. I used to watch his TV and I used to see Dr. Zak Are you a Muslim? No, I'm a Christian, but I'm here to convert to a Muslim. Do you believe in God? Okay, now I believe in Messenger. Mashallah, Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. Do you believe Prophet Muhammad is the Messenger of God? I, I have always believed him. Mashallah. Do you believe there's one God? Yes, I do. If you believe there's one God, and if you believe that Prophet Muhammad is the Messenger and Jesus is the Messenger, you're a Muslim. Sir, so you inshallah you will go to heaven now now you question. will go to heaven amen i was asking question sir brother brother would you like to say it in arabic yeah yes. and you believe that prophet muhammad is the messenger of god yes i'll say in arabic and you repeat it yeah okay sir yes no problem sir okay ashhadu 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 allah 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 ilaha ilaha, ilaha. illa allah illa allah wa ashhadu wa ashhadu anna Allah anna Allah Muhammadan Muhammadan abdu abdu warsulu warsulu I bear witness I bear witness I bear witness that there is no god there's no god but Allah but Allah and 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 bear witness I bear witness that thy prophet Muhammad prophet Muhammad is it is the servant the servant and messenger of Allah and messenger of Allah mashallah you become muslim muslim If you read the Hindu scriptures, you shall understand the concept of God in Hinduism. The Brahma Sutra of Hinduism, the fundamental creed of Hinduism is Ekam Brahm Dyotya Naste Nena Naste Kinchan. Bhagwan Eki hai, dusra nahi hai, nahi hai, nahi hai, zara bhi nahi hai. There is only one God, not a second one, not at all, not at all, not in the least bit, not in the least bit. In fact if you read the bible there is not a single unequivocal statement if any christian can point out to me any verse from the bible any unequivocal verse in which jesus christ peace be upon him himself says that i am god or where he says worship me i am ready, I am to, ready accept to accept christianity, christianity today, today.